In this question we have to find the maximum height reached by the probe in terms of the radius of the planet. The key concept that we will use here is that the energy of the probe at the surface of the planet is equal to the energy of the probe at its maximum height. Let's start by expressing the total energy of the probe at the surface of the planet. At this point the probe has kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. To express the kinetic energy we will use this equation from subtopic 2.3 and this equation from subtopic 10.2. Here Ek is kinetic energy, lowercase m is the mass of the probe, V is the speed of the probe, Vs is the escape speed, G is the gravitational constant, capital M is the mass of the planet, and r is the radius of the planet. We are given in the question that v is equal to three quarters of the escape speed, so we will substitute three quarters times square root of 2gm over r in place of v in the equation for the kinetic energy. This gives us one half m times three quarters times square root of 2gm over r, where capital R is the radius of the planet, squared. So this is the expression for the kinetic energy of the probe at the surface. The gravitational potential energy of the probe at the surface can be expressed by using this equation from subtopic 10.2, where Ep is gravitational potential energy, G is the gravitational constant, capital M is the mass of the planet, lowercase m is the mass of the probe, and r is the distance between the probe and the center of the planet. So adding the gravitational potential energy to the kinetic energy, we get minus g m m over capital R, because the distance between the probe and the center of the planet, when the probe is at the surface, is equal to the radius of the planet. And this is equal to the total energy of the probe at its maximum height. Since the speed of the probe at its maximum height is zero, it will only have gravitational potential energy. We can express this gravitational potential energy using the second equation, which gives us negative g m m over the distance between the probe and the center of the planet. This distance now is equal to the radius of the planet plus the maximum height reached by the probe. I will express this as r plus h, where h denotes the maximum height reached by the probe. Let's work further and simplify. So we get one half m, and squaring the expression in the parentheses, I get 9 over 16, and the squaring simply eliminates the square root here, so I get times 2gm over r. I still have the rest of the expression, so minus g m m over r is equal to negative g m m over r plus h. I can cancel several things, first of all the one half and the two, and I can also cancel lowercase m, g and capital M from both sides. Let's do this. So we'll end up with 9 over 16 r minus 1 over r is equal to negative 1 over r plus h. Let's combine the two terms on the left side. To do this I will have to find the common denominator, so I will multiply 1 over r by 16 over 16, which gives me 16 over 16 r, so I get 9 minus 16, so negative 7 over 16 r equal to negative 1 over r plus h. Cancelling the negative signs and cross multiplying gives us 7r plus 7h is equal to 16r and subtracting 7r and dividing by 7 gives us h is equal to 9r over 7. So the maximum height reached by the probe is equal to 9r over 7. I think now we all deserve a nice sugar-free ice cream after all of this work.